Welcome back everyone, we are running Warzone and we're going to be testing it out using the variable rate shading with Radeon Boost. So Radeon Boost has been around for a minute, it's where we take the game and uh, as you move the camera around through mouse movements or controller movements, we're basically moving the camera, the game will dynamically adjust the frame, or frame rate, dynamically adjust the resolution to an internal resolution modifier that you select uh, within the game. Now. I'm going to wait and let a bunch of these people jump out over here and we're going to jump and find somewhere to go where there's not a whole lot of people because I am terrible at this game and I don't want to show you guys just how bad I am. We're going to go ahead and jump out over here. Let's go way out here. Alright, so while I'm falling, we're going to go through the, the idea here. So in the past, Radeon Boost would change the internal resolution modifier as you swept the camera and could go up to a 50% resolution reduction. Um, well, with variable rate shading, it doesn't have to be a single number. So the idea is the center of the screen will stay as sharp as possible, while the outside of the screen will adjust dynamically within. Now, you can toggle it on and off with a hotkey, which would be Alt and K. So Alt plus K will enable it. And we're going to try and stay alive while we do this. So. All right, let's see here. We got a point where we're outside and we're overlooking out here, running about 110, 120 FPS. 4K settings all the way up. The only motion blur that's on is on the gun so that it doesn't mask a lot of this. And we do have ray trace shadows on. So this is just for fun with the 6800 XT on our typical test bench. So Ryzen 9 5900X, 32 gigs of DDR4 3600, CL17, and running off a PCIe Gen 4 drive. So in the top left hand corner where we've got the performance metrics, we're also going to have a little grouping of dots that are going to pop up in a moment when we enable Radeon Boost with VRS and it's going to adjust. You'll have one dot when it's active and then it'll go up to four dots when it's going up to the resolution. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So we turned it on and the dot showed up. Now notice the frame rate didn't change, but when I move the camera, the frame rate actually goes up. It's actually going up a bit. And if you're paying attention, don't pay attention to the tearing, just the game itself, how the game looks while we're doing this. So we're gonna turn it off again. Alt K, turn it off. Notice the frame rate is about stagnant. So things aren't changing. 105, 105, 106. All right, let's turn it on and 114 121 and it does this by dy dynamically adjusting the peripheral view of the camera so that it drops that resolution and you see here as we sweep now you're not going to play the game like this the idea is you're not going to play the game constantly moving the camera so that you can get better performance we'll turn it back off it's so that as you're playing and you go to sweep you're not going to get that drop. See, it dropped to 102. Admittedly, 102 FPS is perfectly fine. Uh, so turn it back on and drop the camera. And you see it jumps way up. It jumps up. So the cool thing here is if you're playing a game that is more intense, like we're going to check out in just a second, because I'm going to jump out of this game and whatever, let it affect my thing. Go ahead and turn it back on. Turn it back on. You see the little dots pop up. And maximum, the faster you move the camera, more does you move slowly not that big of a change you whip it around and it changes a lot so there you go there is warzone you know what i'm going to pause this and we're going to jump right over to cyberpunk 2077 oh 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 yeah definitely so here we are loaded into night city and boost vrs is turned off right now so we're kind of just walking around and you can see here this is 4k High settings, the high preset, I'm not running ultra, I'm not trying to run ray tracing on the same 6800 XT. And we're seeing about 43, 45 FPS while you're moving around. It's not really going anywhere. Now when I enable VRS here, it's gonna kind of really, it's gonna take me into a menu, but we're gonna go ahead and enable it. And let's see, back, back out, there we go. Let me put my gun away. If I can remember how to do that. Oh well, you know what, I'm gonna leave my gun out. So you can see here, it's now jumping up to the mid 50s, which is kind of a big deal here because it makes this game when you're in like a gunfight and you're looking down your sights and whatever, police. You know, you're looking down your gun sights, your frame rate can go up a little bit, it'll smooth it out. 
probably gonna these cops here suck so you see there let's go ahead and turn it off and uh show you kind of what what happens there when you take your weapon back out let's see get the same one back all right there we go so you see here now we're down 40 41 and if you're looking around trying to pick someone off that frame rate drop really makes a big difference whenever you're playing with uh your gun sighted and such so you see 42 44 let's go ahead and turn it back on and get back out of that menu and get our gun back out and there you go so you see there running around 50 it's a lot smoother so this is a very good update uh it seemed it may have been here for a minute but with the latest 12.4.1 i got to looking at it and i wanted to take a video and show how it can really enhance the performance of these graphics cards with the games that it supports i wish the game list was a little bit bigger but as time goes on maybe it'll get there so um apparently i'm getting a call from a police officer so all right guys i want to thank you for making it to the end of this particular video and if you enjoyed what you've seen and you got anything out of it make sure you stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and if you missed a previous video maybe check that out over there